Hey everyone. Hi everybody. In today's video, we are going to be trying and reviewing the new CND Pro skincare line. So in the beginning of the video, we are actually are going to be doing the treatment. And then the second part of the video, I am going to go through over the ingredients and I'll let you know what I think about the, the line. Okay, so our model here with our famous hands is ready for his treatment. So here are the three products that I purchased. So number one is the exfoliating scrub. Number two is the exfoliating activator. And number three is going, to, it says hydrating lotion for hands and feet. So this one is first. And the first thing that I'm always very curious about is the smell. It smells like a cucumber patch. Yeah, it smells very, it smells like the cucumber heel therapy. All okay. right, so let's see. So it reminds me of cucumber sandwiches. No. It does. Okay, so they say it's, you're supposed to take a dollop. How much is a dollop? We'll go with that being yeah. a dollop. All right. It's your favorite part. You have a, such a terrible, <laughs> terrible job. <laughs> the face is... Um, okay, you're supposed to like rub it in all the way. <laughs> just so you guys are aware, I am not a fan of any of the scrubs, sugar scrubs, whatever kind of scrubs. It just does not feel very nice to me. It feels like... I can't even begin to explain. It just, okay. it's... Uh... So first... Um... I'm just trying to position the hand so mm -hmm. the viewers can see. Yes. Um, so first you're supposed to like spread it and then you're supposed to like scrub it. <laughs> so the, the gritty part is, it's not very gritty. Well, there is not a lot of these gritty pieces, right? right? And from what I understand from the ingredients, it is a citric acid. Mm -hmm. It's not a sugar and it's not a salt and it's not like magnesium, sea salts. It still feels like someone poured honey and gravel on my arm or sand. Okay, I should say. Yeah, so you're, you're not a fan. Okay, no. so you're supposed to kind of massage it for a minute or so. Right. Your tattoos are coming to life. That's just because I shaved my arms. Well, you trimmed it. Trimmed, sorry. Okay, that, that's enough of scrubbing, no? Yeah, I've had about it. Yeah, okay. So now we are going to use the step number two. Step number two, the exfoliating activator. Okay, so can we see it here? Yes, we can. Okay. So we're going to grab the same amount. Okay, so it's like a one pump and a half of the exfoliating activator. Let's smell it. it smells very similar. And... We're going to rub this in. And after that, we are supposed to wrap the hands in warm towels, hot warm towels. I mean, hot warm towels, um, wet towels. <laughs> what do you call them? Wet towels? No, <laughs> hot towels, yeah, hot towels but like moist towels. Oh yes, yeah. moist. Because we love, we know how much people love Yeah, but arm. how are you supposed to wrap the whole arm and stuff too? That's my question. Multiple moist towels. Oh my God, that's a lot of... Moist. That's the thing that I kind of, um, I'm not too crazy about is the... What's the whole idea behind the towels? It's exactly. softening the skin. Right, and it's actually oh. going to dissolve the crystals. So some of the crystals by now have dissolved. Right. Not all of them. So I guess I had a little bit more of the of the gritty stuff. Well, it seems like a pretty conservative dollop, if I do say so okay, myself. So I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Normally, if you are working in a salon and you're doing all these treatments, you might as well, like, it's better if you wear gloves because eventually it's irritating to the skin if you do too much of it, right? Too much of a good thing. But 
watch till the end of the video because I have a lot to say about the product. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. It's going to be interesting. I'm interested. Because I did a lot of research. No, not a research. Reading. Internet reading, which is not research. But... <laughs> uh... All right. Enough now. Okay, so I think I have to go and, and the get the towels. People pay good money for this, for this. and I'm just like, <laughs> stop! It's <laughs> disgusting. And that, that's no shade to C and D and the product that they've created. I don't like any of them. Uh, not their products, but just the <laughs> the sugar scrub. Uh, yeah. Thing. Uh, I'm just. I'm. I'm not a fan. Okay, so it's it, we don't have a. It's we picked the wrong model, basically. But yeah. Kind of. Okay, let's get the towels. And here comes the moist towel. Okay. I'm back with the towel. So now, how are we going to wrap this? Okay, maybe this way. Yeah, let's try And by it. then, the towel is going to be cold. Cold. So it'll be cold and damp. <laughs> your, arms, <laughs> your arms are too big. Oh, Lord. Okay. To, like, you might... it, like guys like we literally have to try and pin it down around my forearm <laughs> you look like a not a live person here <laughs> this is hilarious Goodness. okay just move it a little bit right. so this is um difficult a little bit all right so let's do the other hand i can't okay well just, just the... pretend that it's normally clients don't have such big arms okay let's continue Oh, do we have? Oh, I have an idea. No, wait. No, I what? have an idea. Oh, a clip. Great. <laughs> it's clipping my arm. Okay. Oh, oh. So I'm going, we're going to use less of this magic portion. The dollopy goodness. It's a small dollop this time. Okay, I think Cindy is going to hate us. I think so. But you know, you get the God's honest truth. Yeah. Okay, so I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of these um, kind of mechanical scrubs overall. I'm not a fan. But I'll tell you more once I go over the ingredients. Once I can look into my notes as well because mm -hmm. I'm trying to make a professional video is that what you're trying to do mm -hmm. I see mm -hmm. how is the other arm feeling cold and wet because I guess you need like a big towel which mm. yeah the the heat dissipated quick um, yeah. not that that should really matter in all of this uh, okay let's let's use the other okay hold on Okay, so pump and a half. And you're supposed to like now sit with those towels for five minutes. Mm -hmm. And relax. Okay. Yeah, let me know, guys. Like, I know a lot of people really enjoy that, uh, especially for pedicures as well. I don't know. Okay, so, uh, I mean, putting that aside, the the slip is really, really nice of these products. They don't seem to be, like, soaking in. So it's, it's a, a good way to kind of massage the skin with this product. Mm -hmm. It feels nice. Has a nice smell. It's a, it's actually a. People say it's a light smell. It is, but it's quite noticeable. Yes. It's not a very very light smell. As I said before, it's got this cucumber patch slash. Uh, my grandma makes these amazing cucumber sandwiches with like mayonnaise, uh, salt, pepper, and. I think you've ruined it. Now people are gonna think about sandwiches. Excellent. And her homemade bread is phenomenal well, that she yeah. would use for these sandwiches. It reminds me of being a kid and... Uh, okay, well then you have good memories. Yeah, it's product. just... Oh, so this reminds me a little bit, and I used, and I really liked the smell of it. It was the C&D 
citrus uh, citrus manicure spa. And then they had an almond one as well. I like the citrus. I like the smell. Did it not smell like grapefruit or something to mm, that? No, effect? it was like, no, it was more citrusy. Mm. All right, let's get another moist towel. <laughs> Okay, we have a towel number two. So, I don't know how long you're supposed to be sitting with this on. And this is difficult. We would need like a bath towel, but that's a little <laughs> bit ridiculous. Well, apparently so is the size of my forearms. It's kind of ridiculous, okay. so. Okay, put your hand down. It's down. Make it smaller. All right. Do you have another clip? No. Oh, that's great. Okay, let's just read the instructions again to see. You look like a mummy. <laughs> I'll show you the camera one second. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see how long this is supposed to stay on the skin. Let's see. And let's sit for five minutes, I'm sorry. Remove towels and massage any remaining product into the skin. Okay, five minutes. We're going to time it. 30 seconds. But who's counting? Mm. Okay, we can do it, no? No. I mean, this one has been sitting no, there for longer. No, we gotta do it right. <sighs> Remember, I'm the one Are you who's relaxed? Saying... No. No? Okay. No. There's nothing relaxing about this process. One. Done. Okay. <sighs> Give me out of these things. So hold on, hold on. Wait. Now. So let's just do it this way. This is wet and soggy. <sighs> and if you appreciate Mr. Salon Life's efforts. In this video, please hit a like. Or subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> okay, this feels weird. Okay, so I'm just supposed to kind of wipe it off, right? Uh-huh. So the other one... So I'm supposed to massage the rest. There is still a little bit of those... Um, crystals. Well, just a couple. So I'm not sure... Okay, so let's just take this one off and not yes. make you suffer. Oh, thank you. Okay, uh, put your hand on top. Okay. I don't get the hot towels because the hot towels don't stay hot. No, they turn pretty soggy pretty quick. And that creates a lot of like towels. Now this is soggy a little bit, but let's just not. Let's pretend it's not. So now we are going to use the hydrating lotion. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I have to say, these two are very, very similar and it's very easy to mix them up, right? That's the only problem. All right, so let's use the lotion first. So I've used the lotion yesterday when I was, uh, when we received these products, your, your elbow down. And I have to say it absorbs very, very quickly. It has a, you know, it has a very, it's a soft smell, but it's a strong smell, mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. It doesn't have oily feel to it. It has very, very hydrating kind of feel because now the skin is wet from the towel, the soggy towels. What do you think? How does it feel? People pay a lot of money for this experience. I know, right? And you're just sitting here like complaining. You know what? This a, is not you, bad. You know what a, a nice experience is for me? Uh huh. Getting tattooed. Oh God. That's, That's a so nice, relaxing thick. experience. Yeah. All right. So how does this feel? Okay. So now it's already you can't See, now massage it anymore. Now it's starting to. It's yeah, like, okay. It's, th this is tolerable now. Why? The other one is not? No, just the... It's the, too oily? It's just not my thing. Okay. It's just not my thing. So now it's becoming like a little tacky. So you can't really do any massage with it. <sighs> yeah. Okay, let's dab a little bit of oil on top of this. 
Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Your hand down, please. We're gonna give you the full treatment. I'd like a refund, please. <laughs> no, you've done a fantastic job, actually. This is not a very good advertising for my services. <laughs> I would like to refund, please. Uh, you didn't pay anything. I still want a refund. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to get paid to go through this experience. Uh, okay, so this is done. Okay. Another pump. So it needs like a good pump to kind of, no? <laughs> oh man. I think clients, if they like the smell, they're going to like this lotion because a lot of people don't like uh, very greasy creams. So or this might be smells nice. smells that are very... Perfumey or something. Yeah. Although I have to say, I prefer... I hate to say it. Can I say it? I guess. I like the OPI better. The smell. Yeah. Agreed. This one is like... Hmm, yeah, like the cucumber heel therapy. It's nice. It, I think it should be a little bit less smelly. There should be less of this smell. I don't it find it nice. to be like pungent or like... No, really, no. Um, but it's, it's there. It's... But it, it kind of maintains just like a nice smell. It doesn't kind of turn funny after a while like no it, it doesn't just, it doesn't nice. but i would rather have a little bit less like i, I like very very like a lighter light or, smell yeah. so you can smell it once you put your hands to sorry put your nose to your skin but it's not something that um you can really really smell like you know in the whole room mm. and i think if you came into this space you would smell it I think smell so too. Yeah. I think you would smell it. Yeah. Already. Right? So guys, let us know if you've uh, had a yes. chance to use the product, what you think of it. Um, let us know if you're into these kinds of scrubs. But, and, uh, yeah, we're not finished yet though. Oh. No, because now this is going to be the second part of this video where I go over the ingredients and the, the tea. The, you know, tea. Not the tea. Oh. There was a tea there, but heckins. not the tea, the tea that you think about. Well, it's more like just the letter T and some of the words. No, no, there's actually T. Oh, like like tea that you drink tea? No, no. I'm so confused, guys. I know. All right, so this part is done, and I'm free. Um, yes, you're free, and then we're going to going to get my computer. We're gonna go over the ingredients. But before we get into the ingredients, I just wanted to mention three very important things. So first of all, there is a interesting and a little bit worrisome trend that i'm noticing lately and it is the the scrubs the scrubbing 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 what people should understand is that you cannot fix dry skin by scrubbing it and dry skin usually is a symptom of impaired or broken skin barrier and let's see what dermatologist has to say about that according to miami-based board certified dermatologist dr tracy cimento the skin barrier is the outermost layer of the skin that functions to keep all the good things in and the bad things out. Your skin barrier is what keeps you alive, keeping all sorts of harmful environmental toxins and pathogen from penetrating your body, she says. Your skin barrier also keeps the water inside of your body that would otherwise escape and evaporate, leaving you completely dehydrated. So very often is when you see that the skin is dehydrated, it's, you don't need to drink more water, is you have to make sure that your skin bar barrier is intact. Your skin barrier is essential for good health and it needs to be protected in order to function properly. Protected, not scrubbed. So that outer layer of skin can be compared to a brick wall and made out of bricks that are held together by the lipids in the skin, right? So by the ceramides and the lipids and the skin, the cholesterol on the skin. So when we scrub and wash the skin with detergents, especially harsh deter detergents, we are removing the lipids, which makes the cells basically come apart. And that's what we see. 
So the key is not to remove those cells. The key is to keep those cells together and protect the skin, right? So that's, that's one thing that I'm kind of seeing lately. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is that personally, I prefer chemical exfoliants versus the mechanical exfoliants. But in this product, the, the exfoliant is a citric acid, which first it becomes, first it is a mechanical exfoliant, so you can scrub with it. And then once it dissolves, it becomes a, a chemical exfoliant. So it, citric acid dissolves and it becomes a chemical exfoliants because chemical exfoliants actually have way more benefits to the skin than just the physical or the mechanical exfoliants and they usually are much more gentle on the skin so that's a good thing so i'm editing this video right now and i wanted to add one more thing so in case you want to make this product more gentle what you can do is use the scrub but don't scrub with it maybe scrub a little bit not too much and then apply the activator on it and the activator will dissolve the citric acid making it a chemical exfoliant that way it will be more gentle and finally number three the jar packaging so jar packaging is problematic because even though you have very good or you might have very good effective ingredients inside every time you open the package the air and light gets in and the quality of the ingredients gets compromised especially when you have a big packaging you're going to open it many many times and actually another one more thing one more thing the fragrance so fragrance can be uh can cause allergies can cause irritation it's just not a good thing but the thing is that clients expect it it is a part of the the whole experience in a, in a salon and I've had issues where or I've had instances where I used fragrance free products because I do believe in fragrance free products and my clients were disappointed. So I do understand that creating a product with a really nice fragrance is just a part of the, the whole experience. So let's look at the ingredients now. Okay, so let's look at the ingredients and what I did is I put the ingredients which were actually difficult to find into incidecoder.com, awesome website where you take the ingredients, you paste it and they tell you more about the ingredients. Okay, so here are the ingredients for the scrub and here we go. So caprylic, capric triglyceride is a, an emollient which makes your skin feel nice and smooth. It comes from coconut, glycerin, glycerin, yes, it's like texture clear, older or less. And very well tolerated for every skin type. Okay, so that's good. Has a rice bran oil, which also is very nice. Um, this ingredient, I don't know how to pronounce it, glyceryl, glyceryl behenate, combination of glycerin and behenic acid, fine powder of waxy solid form. It helps to create a very soft and non-tacky water-free gels. Okay, so this product does not have water because the water is going to dissolve the little crystals. So it has to be obviously in, in a water-free product. Okay, so now this one, this ingredient is um, adding viscosity and foam to cleansing formulas. So, and now we have the citric acid, which actually is not a ascorbic acid because people think that citric acid is a vitamin C and it's not. It's an alpha hydroxy acid, but it's not a vitamin C. So yes, it's an AHA and it's an exfoliant to gently lift off the dead skin cells from your skin. Now, another ingredient that they list as exfoliant is a, is a sodium citrate. It also adjusts the pH and it has fragrance, obviously which is actually interesting because it has obviously more fragrance than the shea butter that's listed underneath, but okay. So shea butter is really, really good for the skin. It's very rich in antioxidants and soothes the skin as well. It's, it's a wonderful ingredient. Now it has these two interesting ingredients that I had to look up because I've, I haven't heard much about them because they say that these products have prebiotic extract. Yes. So it has the alpha glucan oligosaccharide. Oof. And they seem like pretty good ingredients. So the first one is a skin protecting ingredient obtained by enzymatic synthesis from natural sugars. It is claimed 
claimed to be a bioselective substrate that protects and stimulates the beneficial mi microbial skin flora without doing the same with pathogens and undesirable flora. And now the beta-glucan, also very good ingredient. Eating it is very good. Also, it comes from yeast, some mushrooms, seaweed, and cereals, but topically uh, works as well. I actually looked up uh, Polastroys because I really um, value their information. It's very science-based. And let's see what she says about it. So basically she um, lists this as a very good ingredient. The rating is best, um, is best. She says it's a soothing and hydration ingredient and naturally derived from yeast, fungi, or seaweed or oats. Often used as a skin soothing agent, redness minimizing ingredient. So this is all really, really good. Okay, so this is good. And let's see the other ingredient. Okay, so the second ingredient, uh, there was not that much information, but it, it says rating is best, benefits hydration, and it's used as an emollient. And it also has water binding properties. So that's great too. It has glycerin, avocado oil, which also is really, really good. I guess it does have water, but very, very small amounts. Vitamin E. Another ingredient, which is antioxidant, eucalyptus oil, I'm not a fan of. It has alcohol, another not the best ingredient. Um, it has perfumes, fragrance, light floral, floral smell, another perfume, smells like jasmine, another perfume, and another, okay, multifunctional helper ingredient that can do several things, skincare product. Yeah, feel to the formula, act as a humectant. Oh, okay. So then there is another one ingredient as a solvent multitasking ingredient as a preservative as a preservative okay so that's what it is now let's look at the activator so the activator has water glycerin urea which is really nice um caprylic triglycerides let's look at the ingredients here very quickly okay so it has uh water as a solvent obviously glycerin very very excellent ingredients um, glycerin, as we know, is fantastic. It has urea, which is also very, very good. It would be nice to know the the uh, percentage of urea in the product. Uh, they don't list it though. Um, caprylic triglyceride is an emollient. Isopropyl myostate is it makes the product feel nice and smooth. Citar alcohol is also really good. Nice soft feel and polysorbate 60 which is a um, emulsifier that's the word propylene glycol it helps the um, absorption of the product so it has good ingredients other than the perfume in it panthenol very nice and it also has that alpha glucan oligosaccharide oh my god and beta glucan as well it has aloe vera and some other vitamin e eucalyptus oil this ingredient is a little interesting. So it sets the pH of cosmetics. It's a little bit uh, controversial. It doesn't have the best safety reputation and in general. They say not to worry about it. I checked with Paula's Choice, same, same, same opinion, so nothing to be freaked out about. But yes, more perfume, 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 perfume. Okay, so now let's look at the, the lotion, the third one. So now the lotion has obviously water first, then glycerin, cetyl alcohol, mineral oil, which you should not be scared about. Mineral oil is actually very good. Let's see what they say about the mineral oil here because they explained it really nice. The famous or maybe rather infamous mineral oil, the clear oily liquid that is the cheap byproduct of refining crude oil and the one that gets a lot of heat for its poor provenance. Provenance? It is very controversial ingredient with pros and cons and plenty of myths around it. So let's see them. So the pros of uh, mineral oil are that um, obviously we're talking about the cosmetic grade mineral oil and it's not just byproduct, but rather a specifically isolated part of petroleum that is very pure and inert. 
and it's a great emollient and a great moisturizer working mainly by occlusivity. Okay, another ingredient is the uh, dimethicone, which is a silicone. Great silicones are very, very helpful. It uh, makes the skin feel smooth. They create a protective barrier and it fills in the fine lines and wrinkles. So it gives the skin very nice and plump feeling. And it's actually very good for scar treatment as well. It has glycerous steratate as well. Uh, it has it has a cornstarch, which is probably responsible for that very light feeling of the product, so it doesn't feel very greasy, and it feels good. It has shea butter as well. It has again those alpha glucan oligosaccharides, and the beta glucan. It has avocado oil. It has panthenol, which is really good. Too bad it doesn't have urea. This one and some other ingredients if you want to um, look it up i'm going to post the ingredients in the description box so you can then uh, copy and paste and put them into the website for you to see um, to learn more about these products and it also has yes the fragrance ingredients it has castor oil very low down the list so and again it has this um ingredient to set the pH, blah, blah. More perfume, more perfume and more perfume. And solvents, parabens, by the way, don't be afraid of parabens. I know everybody is so afraid of parabens, but they are very safe and they have been researched for a very long time and they have very good safety track record as well. So this is it when it comes to the ingredients. Um, personally, I would like to see a little bit less fragrance, but I mean, not completely fragrance free because I do understand coming from a salon perspective, but just a little bit less fragrancy, a little bit less smelly. The texture is really nice. If you are a fan of the scrubs, obviously some people are not a huge fan of these scrubs. I personally, um, I don't use them. I prefer chemical exfoliants. How do you say it? More chemical, less mechanical. Yeah. It's very true. And people are so afraid of chemical stuff. No, the chemical exfoliants are way better. And this is it. Please let me know. I'm very curious very curious how you feel about these products and i'm very curious if you're going to purchase them or not they're not cheap i spent a small fortune so on these three products i spent almost 100 euros and that's a professional price which is about 100 euro us the, right over now. 100 the, like the, the 110 is, or something yeah yeah i mean the the us to euro um, conversion is roughly yeah. one to one so you're looking at about 100 bucks plus yeah here yeah for the feet um it was additional like 200 so it's a lot of money. Yeah. I'm a fan of dry pedicures. So this really doesn't go in line with the dry pedicures that I do. So this is the reason why I decided not to buy. Uh, I don't do any soaks. I don't do any scrubs. I don't do any of those hot towel thingies, the wet towels thingies. I tell so uh, that's the reason why I didn't get it. And mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to get it unless CND sends me this as a gift, which they probably won't after watching this review, but I'm okay with that. All right, this is it, guys, for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.